Okay, so for all you guys that don't know, Jack Frag is a big YouTuber. He always do updates on Call of Duty. Anything to do with Call of Duty, he's there. So, I mean, I always watch him or uh, J God for any updates on Call of Duty. But I got this video that my friend was telling me for check him out on, um, from TikTok. I'm not gonna be uh, disappointed, man. So let's check it out. Today, I'll be sharing gameplay details on Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. I was invited to a 90 minute behind the scenes presentation with developers at Infinity Ward where they showed us real gameplay and took a deep dive into both of these titles. So let's get stuck in and I'll let you know everything that they showed us. There's no campaign spoilers here and I've focused on the cool new stuff for multiplayer. Bear in mind that all of this information applies to Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 apart from certain specific MW2 game modes. MW2 will release on old gen and current gen featuring single Wait, player multiplayer. There's no campaign spoilers here and I've focused on the cool new stuff for multiplayer. Bear in mind that all of this information applies to Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 apart from... Oh, we got a Warzone 2, man. Let's go. Woohoo. Get a chicken skin over here. Wow. I told people in the comments that if the, uh, Modern Warfare 2 come out with just multiplayer, probably going to die within three weeks. Nowadays, it's all BR. Everybody loves BR, so everybody probably gonna play on for like two, three weeks, maybe one month. And then go back to um, BR, Caldera, or whatever war zone. That's good news, man. Woohoo! Certain specific MW2 game modes. MW2 will release on old gen and current gen featuring single player, multiplayer, and co op. It will also be available on Steam for PC players this time around as well as Battle.net. Movement has had a big overhaul and there are now a lot more movement. You know that the kind too, well. I think Microsoft own them too, so P um PS4 ain't gonna get the or PlayStation ain't gonna get the early release. It will be Xbox and PC. <laughs> right about alley, baby. Let's go. Options you can now ledge hang, meaning that you can peek up over walls and windows while aiming with a pistol. You could do this in Modern Warfare 19 on ladders, but now it also applies to ledges. So rather than always instantly oh, mounting up and over into gunfire, you've got another. This is not a good um, stuff they're gonna put in. Who hate climbing ladder? I know I hate climbing ladders. You climb the ladder, you know already somebody's watching you from behind or they're gonna shoot you because you're slow climbing a damn thing. And then not, not only that, when you get to the top, you get like on delay. So you gotta get to the top and then you can shoot like three seconds after. So this this one gonna really help. Anybody can camp over there, we can still shoot them. All right. Another option. Another fun example of this would be to ledge hang onto the side of a helicopter that was flying by, jump onto the landing skid, take out the pilot with your pistol, climb in and hijack it. Ledge hang will also offer hoisting or jumping up to higher levels, giving players more interesting exploration opportunities in maps. You can now ledge hang, grab edges and mantle out of a parachute too. They showed Ooh. us a new mechanic too, where you can rappel down the side of a building with oh. freedom of movement and tow up or tow down positions. Imagine Sliding making clips of that, this hanging game, upside down and, diving to and the ground shooting somebody. A movement mechanic, cool. allowing the player to dive onto their belly to quickly get into cover or dive through a window to a lower floor. Swimming is now a huge part of the gameplay loop. Oh, Players can swim wow, through and swim. underwater. Whilst under the water, you can use your pistol or melee weapon to shoot in it or out of it. Players above you can also shoot down into the water. Bullets have different ballistics and damage values when traveling through water though. They will do less damage oh, as yeah. they're moving slower. And swimming is said to offer too. new gameplay opportunities such as escape, exploring shipwrecks and stealth. The deeper you are in the water, the harder that you are to see. The developers also created several advanced mechanics for water simulation. These include server-side waves, mesh deformation with automatic object and scene collision, so these waves shouldn't clip through any objects, caustics, light refraction, color loss as you go deeper, underwater reflections on the oh, surface above really you, going... and foam simulation on boats Ooh, and blown, beaches. Man. The gunsmith system, which was pioneered in Modern Warfare 19, is back, but now with 10 attachment slots that they say they want to keep grounded man. in real Ooh. military technology rear grip barrel magazine receiver and stock the new system is said to offer more depth with a broader range on functionality among attachments and a new feature within gunsmith is weapon platforms so let's say that you start playing with a specific assault rifle or smg and then you gain xp with it you will then unlock more guns further down that family tree that live within that tree or platform and this means that guns now have unique and shared weapon attachments so if you unlock something new you're not going to start from scratch and you will have attachments to put on there oh, if you've already good. unlocked them in that family tree. That's it's cool. a nice feature. 
Going further into this, Gunsmith now features attachment tuning for those people that really want to dive into optimizing their loadouts. And they showed us an example where a barrel attachment could be tweaked for positives and negatives, really pushing their gun into what they're looking for. The barrel on the MP5 example offered a slider with weight distribution for heavy, equaling more recoil control or lighter oh. for faster ADS speed. It also let you change the length of it with longer oh, meaning a better aim walking that, speed and shorter meaning better aiming stability. So there's really an insane level of customization on the guns here. Big Vehicles time. are a much bigger part of this game for Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. Ground War is back, but this time on bigger battle maps, which we'll go into soon. There's plenty of new mechanics for vehicles too. Players can now lean out of cars and vehicles with windows oh, and shoot 360 the coming degrees up, from man. their position. They can also climb on top of vehicles whilst they're moving. We were shown gameplay with this mechanic oh, really action, the player was jumping from moving car to car. And another example was mentioned of jumping from a moving player controlled vehicle onto a moving train. The game has advanced vehicle damage now. That means that doors can be blown off, disabling the ability to lean out of them. Tires can be blown out, which will affect the handling of the vehicle or force it to come to a complete stop if you take out a certain number of tires. Busted tires can be repaired and vehicles can be repaired by taking them to gas stations. Vehicles now oh boy oh, i don't need i don't need swap cars i can just go to a gas station but you know guarantee gonna have guys camping over there now have husks which means that vehicles will remain on the map as physics objects if a car ends up in the water it will float for a little while and then move with the waves before listing and sinking there are plenty of new vehicles too including rib boats armored patrol boats with man turrets on the front of we had boats in uh black ops 3 too uh blackout but that's about it. In the back, the Wilson and the APC are now amphibious, meaning that they can continue operating on land or water. There are new. Oh, imagine that! You're going to go in the water and shoot guys from in the water. Weapon transport platforms like armored trucks. I'm going to be fighting in the water too, man. And also a big controllable troop carrier helicopter that's got two side doors and a back door for firing out of. This also has I'm a feature where the driver teammate. can hop out, jump in the back, and the chopper will park and auto hover if you want it to and this can be used as a spawn vehicle in ground war. It appears that there's a much bigger focus on large scale battle maps this time around with day one large scale combat featuring large exploratory maps with a mix of infantry and vehicles. The maps will feature several different game modes too and they showed us two examples. Said, that's got intense urban combat with the option to climb on top of every building or go inside every building with lots of exploration, parkour and platforming. Sarif Bay, this is a tourist fishing village, more of a water playground with lots of swimming rib boats and water gameplay opportunities i felt like those were part of the warzone 2 map as well of course there are core 6v6 maps too for mw2 and these will be more globe trotting all over the world in more special force type locations the maps in mw2 are said to be a bit smaller and tighter than the mw19 maps with less climbing they showed us museum which is set in spain grand prix which is a racetrack in asia at night and the race is going on in the background while you're playing Farm 18, which is an undisclosed training facility in an old cement factory. On one side, there's an apartment building, which is a classic map, high rise, and a shoot house in the middle. As I mentioned, we did see glimpses. Looks like they're going to add all of them in for the Warzone 2. Of the new Warzone map in certain slides and presentations. To me, it looked like a sandy desert style location with multiple built up points of interest, including shipwrecks, fishing villages, a castle, compounds. There was an ATC in the background, so I'm assuming there'll be an airport. There was an observatory type building on top of a mountain, docks. Oh no, never mind. I'm gonna be on a whole new map. Downtown areas, big broken bridges, football grounds, and roads connecting most of these areas. The developers also gave us a look at the improvements that they made to AI and it sounds like AI will feature heavily in certain game modes, potentially in Warzone 2 as well. At the moment they're testing 100 players with 300 AI at the same time and striving to make it the highest quality level that they can achieve across all game modes, commanding player respect and creating interesting engagement experiences rather than just being cannon fodder to shoot at. I'm guessing this means that AI will be a big feature of the battle modes and Warzone 2, assuming something like quest systems or strongholds. They demonstrated new AI features with self-preservation behavior. So they had alert body language, environment and room detection, coordination, checking angles and stuff like that. And they've also Ooh, looked at what these bots lives are like outside of combat. So let's say if a player was just observing them in a multiplayer environment and not engaging, what are they going to be doing? 
and they said that this has been created with a new systemic system that didn't have any scripting so the ai has got these behaviors and it's just doing these things itself and finding its way around the environments we saw a few new pieces of equipment and field upgrades tactical cameras these can be thrown onto a wall you can then hop into the feed and look around mark players other players in your squad can throw them too and they create oh. a network so if you wanted to you could check all their cameras too and play that camera operator role they can be set up with motion sensors too beeping when motion is detected Next up is the drill charge. This is similar to the huge cluster charge from Rainbow Six Siege. So you throw this onto a wall or a vehicle and it will drill through and shoot a grenade through. So it's a nice softener for room campers. It can also be used on vehicles to force exits from them. So you could chuck it on a vehicle, the team have to jump out, you kill them and then you take over the vehicle because if you're in the vehicle when the grenade goes off it will kill you. The DDoS, this is an EMP device that will stall vehicles and equipment so it's a good combo to use before the drill charge. Interestingly if you're hit by this and driving a vehicle you'll get a button prompt to attempt to restart the vehicle's engine. The inflatable decoy, this is a Kevlar blow up dummy decoy that can be manually deployed remotely or proximity deployed where it will pop up, startle and auto orient to whoever ever set it off so it's a nice oh, distraction mechanic pretty, really yeah. it can also be used in water where it Traction. will strike a swimming pose or if you deploy a... it in a lower environment it might crouch down or if you put it near a window it might peek over the window for example so it's really dependent on the location that you set it off in so it will look like a real player and not be obvious Equipment also has different interactions with water now that that's a big part of the gameplay. For example, flashbangs and smoke have buoyancy and they'll deploy on the surface. Or if you throw a proximity mine into the water, it will deploy little floaties and become a mine that floats and moves along with the waves on the surface of the water. So that turns it into an anti-personnel device if someone's swimming or even some form of deterrent against boats. What about new game modes for MW? Hey, hey, so what's going to happen when the guy's underwater if you throw him on top of the water? You don't get stunned on the bottom. You don't get hit from the mine. Well, what's going on? That's right. Two, while well, they showed us two to knockout out. mode, this is gunfight meets core multiplayer. And it's essentially the last one holding the package wins. You've got one life <clears> with <throat> revives. And it's supposed to be based on a kid's game called Steal the Bacon. I don't know that one. But the bag can spawn in three positions. So you can either kill everybody or hold back when the timer runs out. And it's only a one minute timer per round. So it's a really fast game mode. And then the other one they showed us is called Prisoner Rescue. And this is breaching and sieging type gameplay. Where you have to save prisoners or eliminate the enemy attempting to save them. So you've got one team defending and setting up. And then another team further away who are tasked with going in, eliminating the enemies or grabbing the prisoners and getting them to to an extraction point and in play testing they said that this is fun and it feels kind of more real than your typical COD experience. I did see many different guns in the gameplay and it's all the usual suspects that you would expect to be there. Some of them were renamed though which I thought was weird but some examples were the MP7, M14, M4, Bison, MP5, ACR, M16, Benali M4 shotgun, AK47, Vector, Scar and P90. We did see several single player levels too. Again, no story spoilers, but graphically it looked incredible. And the sound engine has definitely taken a big upgrade, although it was already pretty good in the single player in MW19. The animations in particular, I thought were excellent as expected. Also the night vision goggles are now blue instead of green. And finally, a couple of little tidbits that they mentioned. They see Warzone 2 and MW2 as COD 2.0 turning a page for the franchise on a new unified oh, engine you ricochet engine. anti cheat will release on day one for both of these products and warzone is also releasing on mobile soon too and i know that you guys are going to ask but they didn't mention anything about fov slider on next gen consoles and that's all really that's what they showed us do let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you enjoyed the video leave a like that's a great way <sighs> let's to go support. jack frags Woo! can i wait man can i wait i pre-order the vault version already getting excited Good things, man. I thought we wasn't gonna have one one Call of Duty title from what I heard earlier this year, but now we're getting something at the end of this year. All right, come alive out.